Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it surgical pathology station, what are your yes, what are your provisional and a differential diagnosis for this patient? My, my provisional and differential diagnosis will be a benign tumor of parotid, probably pleoma of Okay. Uh, or a and... malignant tumor, maybe mucoepidema carcinoma or a lymphoma. What do you understand by the term pleomorphic? Pleomorphism means variable, uh, histolo remarkable histological diversity map, uh, okay. where the cells, uh, different types of cells are present in the histology. Yes. Uh, uh, probably what is originating. It? Yes. Uh, originating from epithelial cells, via epithelial cells, and mesenchymal cells. Okay, if I if you are asked to describe uh describe the appearance of pleomorphic adenoma, how would you describe it? In simple words, what on what the are the components? Map. Yes. On the what are the three components that you cells, yes? Sorry. Epithelial cells that give rise to ducts, tubules, or uh, sheets or nests of cells. Then yes. there will be more epithelial cells. And, and then there will be mesenchymal cells which give rise to chondroid uh, or fibroid or hyaline matrix. Okay, what are the signs uh, that you'll come across in order for you to categorize the condition as malignant? If it is malignant, there will be uh, facial neoplasty, yes. there will be local invasion spread yes. to the surrounding lymph nodes. Yes. There will be rapid increase in size. Yes. And there will be uh, the skin will be tethered to the lesion. Yes. Good. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the types of parotid tumors uh, that you know of? Uh, parotid tumors can be benign or malignant. Uh, yes. Most common benign tumors are pleomorphic adenoma, Walton's tumor, oncocytoma. Uh, while the malignant tumors include mucoepidermoid carcinoma. Adenocarcinoma, adenoid cystic carcinoma, uh, squamous cell carcinoma, carcinoma X pleomorphic adenoma. Okay. How uh, or what are the investigations that can be done in order to confirm your diagnosis with uh, parotid tumors? Uh, I would like to do the routine investigation uh, followed by CT or MRI and uh, for tissue diagnosis, I would like to do the FNAC or biopsy. Yes. According to uh, NHS uh, protocol, how should the biopsy be taken? It should be done under image guidance, ultrasound guidance. Very good. Okay. Can you tell me if you suspect lesion to be a malignant, uh, what are the features that you should appreciate under the microscope? Uh, under the microscope, uh, there will be nuclear atypia, increased uh, nuclear size, increase in the uh, nuclear cytoplasmic ratio, prominent nucleoli, uh, loss of uh, cellular differentiation, uh, there will be necrosis, and uh, there will be uh, vascular invasion, breach of basement membrane. Okay, good. Uh, if you have to differentiate between benign and malignant cells, what is one best test to do it? Uh, FNS. Yes, good. All right. If uh, you are asked to differentiate between the cytology and histology, what would your answer be? Kindly give three examples of each. In cytology, we will be checking out the cellular structure of the tissue, while in biopsy, we will be uh, looking at the tissue architecture. Yes. Uh, FNAC is less invasive compared to biopsy, and uh, the report will be faster in biopsy, uh, but we can avoid excisional biopsy if with the true cut biopsy yes. and exact diagnosis and staging can be done. Okay, good. So if you have to, if you are asked to rule out uh, malignancy, 
interoperatively how would you do it i would like to do the process section by itself okay uh you've taken you've taken the biopsy and um, under the microscope you find lymphocytes and the langerhans giant cells uh what would you what would you interfere from it or how would you conclude it what would you think of the lesion it, uh, it would be a tuberculoma or granuloma oh, granuloma okay what are the different conditions which contain or consist the granuloma and you know of Uh, tuberculosis. Yes. Uh, sarcoidosis. Very good. Uh, rheumato rheumatic rheumatoid disease. No. And Crohn's. also fungal. Okay. Uh, Crohn's, yes. Uh, fungal infections. Basically, you can divide them uh, inflammatory, non-inflammatory, and then you can even go ahead and. Yes, ma'am. You you can go through this uh, classification later. Yes, infective can be tuberculosis. Yes. Or fungal infection. Okay. Uh, inflammatory can be sarcoidosis, Crohn's disease. Yes. Uh, rheumatoid. Yes. Even a uh, foreign body can also lead to granuloma. Foreign body. Yes. Uh, granuloma, and there are other conditions. Some uh, some viruses and some other conditions there are which can lead to granuloma as well. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, there are another. Uh, okay, there is another condition. in which you are asked to define high sensitivity test from high specificity test how would you differentiate those a high sensitivity test is the ability of a test to find out who all are the uh, diseased people or two positive and high specificity is the ability of the test uh, to find out who all this and how the disease that is true negatives you've diagnosed uh, your patient and then what is the management that you'll offer to the patient if the diagnosis is a pleomorphic adenoma yes then the treatment will be uh, excision with a normal cuff of tissue yes and and i will uh, send a sample for bio uh, tissue di confirmation yes and if it is benign uh, then no further treatment is needed yes but uh, maybe uh, okay maybe lifestyle modification you can suggest yes. to the patient or like uh, yes, uh, i can ask yes. them to avoid smoking alcohol yes uh, have a healthy diet with high protein okay uh, right how would you establish um, if okay you've diagnosed and you've got confirmed all right good okay thanks okay thank you thank you yes if you can comment on this uh, image what what are you looking at this is the axial and coronal ct sections okay of uh, head and neck region showing right. a well defined lesion yes with the a thick capsule surrounding it yes in the left parotid region yes good lesion can most likely be benign lesion can most likely be benign. yes any other comments on the lesion uh, the lesion appears uh, yes less intense less intense or more yes. looks more to me okay okay good and it was benign thank you yeah thank you